Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video, you're gonna learn how to play Stormy as recorded by the Classics 4 on guitar. In this lesson, we're gonna dive into some more jazzier style chord shapes. So keep that in mind as we go through, we're gonna be learning things like minor sevenths and major sevenths, which are a little bit more sophisticated than just your basic major and minor chords. Before we jump in though, I wanna hook you up with a gift if you're new here and haven't downloaded my fretboard guide yet, you're going to want to grab this at the first link down below. And this is going to show you the five chords and scales that I use to map the entire fretboard. And this is so useful for your guitar playing. I think about this when I'm playing anything on guitar, whether it's a solo, a riff, or a chord progression, it all connects to what I put on this page. And I wanna give it to you completely for free. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide, or use the first link down below to grab your copy. All right, well with that said, let's break down this song. Let's break down how to play Stormy as recorded by the Classics 4 on guitar. Now we're gonna start off with the intro, which is actually just a four bar progression, and that continues for the first part of the verse as well. So the tune kicks off just with these two chords like this. Then you were the sunshine. Then the vocal comes in there with the verse. So what I'm playing is just two chords. I'm playing an A minor seven to a G major seven. Now these are jazzier chord shapes and there are simple versions that you can play like this and like this, you know, from the fifth string down, open, two, open, one, open. And then like a G here, three, muting the fifth string, open, open, three, two. Okay, you could play those chords, but I like going and playing what are called closed position chords. So here I don't have any open strings. I'm playing the fifth fret of the low E, then I'm muting the A string and then playing five, five, five on the fourth, third, and second strings. I'm muting the high E. Then from there, I'm going to just a typical G major seven. This is the third fret of the low E. Then fourth fret, fourth fret, third fret there. I'm skipping over that fifth string. So those are my two changes. One, two, three, four, then switch. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, switch. Two, three, four. Now I'm playing almost like a, a pseudo sort of bossa nova feel, like. And what I'm doing there is I'm playing the bass note and then I'm clawing at these other strings. One, two, and three, and four, and. That's the basic feel is I'm breaking up the bass and then the higher strings. And then sometimes just the bass there. Or it could be the, the claw there with, with the fingers. You could also just strum it. If you don't want to play finger style. So either way works, but you gotta make sure you're going A minor seven to G major seven for the intro. Then from there, as I mentioned, the vocal comes in and we're gonna play the same thing, but then we're gonna have a little change. Here's the change. Okay, so I added in a new chord. We're gonna play A minor G, A minor G, A minor G three times. Then after that, we go to C major seven. And this is just played from the fifth string down, three, five, four, five. Again, you could do this, just a C without the index finger, if that's easier, if you don't wanna play the bar chords. Then there's this cool lick I like playing. And that's just a little kind of bluesy lick 
coming out of C major pentatonic. It's sliding in to the seventh fret. Then five, seven on the fourth string, and then a little grace note slide from eight to seven, and then five. Back to C major seven. So it'd be one, two. Then we go back, do the same thing again. Then we have this little variation here. The second time we go C major seven, and then we play this, I like playing this little line. Okay, and what that is, you play the C major seven, then you go four, five on the fourth string. One, two, and three, and four, then two, three, four, five. You're basically just going to the note C and the note G, but you're approaching it by a half step below, like. Then you go down, C, B, that's the third fret to the second fret. Then F, F sharp, third fret to the fourth fret. Then B7, so that's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and B7. Now there I'm playing two, four, two, four. Just a bar chord. Next, we kick into the chorus, and that's where they're singing Oh Stormy. That sounds like this. So what this is here is an E minor 9 chord. It's a great jazz chord. I'm gonna play, starting on the fifth string here, seven, five, seven, seven. E minor nine. Then I'm gonna to go to an A13, which is on those same strings, open A, fifth fret, sixth fret, seventh fret. Now here, I like to do, do this slide in. So I take those three notes, it's dissonant there, and then you slide it up. So it's one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and ba, 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 ba. Now rhythmically I'm just going one, two, three, and that's quarter, quarter, eighth, eighth, and then slide in on the and of four, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and, or change to the A7 down a half step. It's really like A flat 13 over, or yeah, A flat 13 over A, or you know, don't worry about that. Just, it's just think about it, like this chord just down and then move it up. Then after two times of that, you know, bring back that sunny day, we go to C major seven, then B minor seven. Two, four, two, three. Then back. E minor nine, A 13. Now you can, on that E minor nine, play a low E, because that note's E, right? So that could be a low bass note. C. So let's put it all together. We're gonna play the intro into the verse and into the chorus. When we end, we'll go. We'll just end on E minor nine. Here we go. Oh, one, two, three, four. Intro. Here's the verse. You were the sunshine, baby.
ending and on E minor. Have fun putting together this incredible song. It's just got such a great groove to it. But give your fretting hand time. If these shapes are new for you, you've never played minor sevenths or done those kind of bars like that, you've got to give your hand time to develop the muscle memory to get those chords under your fingers. So be patient, but it will come together. Just keep practicing those chords. You know, take your fingers off and put them back on and just help train your hand to go to those chords quicker. It takes time, but you'll get it. Just keep going. And to help you even more, be sure to grab my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is going to show you the five chords and scales that I use to map out the entire fretboard. And it's so useful. And I want to give it to you completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below. Next, I want to hear from you. Leave a comment and let me know your number one struggle with guitar right now. Just comment it down below so I can make some future videos here on the channel helping you out. As always, thanks for your support with the videos and we'll see you in another one real soon. Mm -hmm.